here to talk about the university. You may be new to me. I'm Susan Hyatt and I'm a master certified life coach and trainer. I have been at this now for 14 years, over 14 years. I'm also a published author. I've published two books and I'm the founder of the University for Life Coach Training. I've also uh, been married to Scott Hyatt, AKA the Silver Fox for just about April 7th, it will be 28 years. Um, and I have two kids, Ryan is 22 and Cora is 20. And I'm obsessed with lots of things, uh, Beyonce, Peloton, running, but mostly helping you get what you want. So this is my family, <laughs> the Silver Fox, my son, my daughter, my pets. And um, this is just some examples of as I have progressed through my life coaching career, I have had the opportunity and the pleasure of uh, becoming a TEDx speaker, um, appearing in Oprah Magazine, being on the Hallmark Home and Family Channel. And um, I currently host a uh, show on YouTube called Go Time TV, you can check out. And then there's my book there. Um, do yourself a favor and just give yourself the time and attention so that you can really learn about this. So I always encourage my webinar participants to close down their tabs and turn off their phone um, and soak in the info. So again, I have trained coaches to coach for 14 years. So at the very beginning of my career, um, as soon as I became certified as a life coach, I was hired to also train life coaches for Martha Beck's um, institution. And so I have been training and certifying coaches since then. And it has been part of what I've always done. And it is my greatest delight to not only train coaches on the art of coaching, but the business of making money as a coach is something I special in as well. So I would love to hear in the chat, like, do you want to become a life coach? Many of you are here because you probably took my online quiz about like, you know, should you become a life coach? I would love to hear like how you found us and why you're here. Um, and wh what even is a life coach? You may have responded to one of our ads, but, and you're not even quite sure what this career is all about. And so I'm happy to, happy to talk about that. Um, let me just stop my share real quick and see if there's any, any comments in the chat. If you have a moment, pop in the chat and make sure that you um, choose panelists and attendees so we can all see what you're saying. But I would love to hear, how did you find out about us? You know, like, did you respond to a Facebook ad? Did you come in because you heard about us from another student? We have a great group of students that are training right now that we're super proud of. But how did you wind up here on a Wednesday? Um, your best friend is a life coach who's trained with me. Yes, who is your best friend? I need to know. I need, oh my God, Sarah Yost. Sarah is amazing and she makes me howl. I, like her posts are so hilarious and she's so, she's so honest and real. I love her. Mm. That's right. I trained Sarah years ago and I love that we're still connected. All right. Um, so here's, here's some of the highlights about what it's like to, um, be a life coach. There's nothing better than making a difference in someone else's life. Um, you could call yourself a happiness expert. That's certainly not all we do. And that's certainly not the only emotion we strive for with our clients, but by and large, like it's pretty great to be a happiness expert to work and help ease human suffering. You know, I'm always in my coaching calls asking clients what's bothering them the most so we can get down to it and, and get to feeling better. Um, and also, like, you're helping create legacies. You know, when I was just on that Miracle Year call and I was listening and this was a seven-week program to set people up to have a miracle year. And we covered things like mindset and boundaries and... Um, you know, having a squad or a group of people that you surround yourself with that are amazing and asking for help and all those things. And many women shared by the end of, of the program, which was today, earlier today, like what happened for them. 
And it just listening to women say, you know, one woman got engaged because she asked for exactly what she wanted. Someone else got a job that she never thought she would ever get her dream job. Someone else had like a sweaty, difficult conversation that they were scared to have with their partner. And just witnessing those things and helping create legacies is so fulfilling. And at the university, we're committed to helping create legacies that change the world. And I'll talk a little bit more about that and our mission because we're out here to help serve people and help serve the world. But what's exciting about this profession is if you choose to, if you choose to use these tools to start your own business, it's a way to make a great living. And I am definitely someone who believes that the more money we have, the more good we can do in the world with it. And it may be a surprise to you to know that the coaching industry is, is estimated as a $2 billion industry by Forbes. So, and since we pulled this statistic, I bet it's actually a little higher, but to a $2 billion industry, and we're just getting started because some of you may feel like because you know a coach or many coaches that it's a saturated market. It's just not true. Um, I hear that a lot from coaches that they feel like they know a lot of coaches, therefore there's too many of us. <laughs> and honestly, there's only 53,000 registered coaches worldwide. If you want to compare that to other industries, like how many teachers are there? How many attorneys? How many in uh, insurance salespeople? You know, it's just a myth that the industry is saturated. We're just getting started. Um, being a coach is deeply rewarding and it's a growing field, which is why it's so exciting to be at the forefront of training coaches in this new and different way, because it's exploding. And also being your own coach entrepreneur means that you can create your own wealth. And again, when you create your own wealth and you're leaving a legacy, you're able to do more good and heal more people and, you know, have a scholarship program or um, contribute to causes that matter to you. These are just some of the perks of being a life coach. And here's some more about, you know, why this could be a great decision for you. Um, you can train. One of the fabulous things about this university is that everything you need is from home, your home office. So you can train if you have a computer and a laptop. Um, you determine your own hours. Um, I also, something that I don't think we talk about enough is that this sort of business provides a platform for creativity. So if you're someone who considers yourself a creative or you want to be more creative, um, when I started this company over 14 years ago, something that was such a delight for me was that all of a sudden I had this thing called a blog and I could write. And, um, you know, I have this mic attached to my desk and I can, you know, have a podcast, my own radio show. And guess what? You know, when you go to YouTube and you see Go Time TV, it's like my own TV show. It's, it's wild that it's, a, it's an industry that can give you a platform to flex any creativity that, that you want. And um, I'm so grateful for these tools because they're great tools for your personal life or for your current profession. So before I became a coach, when I went to college, I majored in political science and women's studies, but when I graduated, I worked in public relations in Washington, D.C., and I kind of stayed on that marketing promotional track until I had kids. Um, and then I stayed at home for a little while and re-entered the workforce as a residential real estate agent. And when I was leaving real estate to start this company, one of the things that I marveled at was how much better my real estate world was using these tools in it. So you may be, and I would love to hear what professions you're, you're showing up here as, you know, we have many people who train, who work in HR, who are psychiatrists, psychologists, um, teachers, social workers. I mean, really all walks of life can use these tools for just personal development or 
to enhance their current profession. And um, becoming a life coach gives you the opportunity to create your own content and become a thought leader. So I know when I trained and even for a while after I trained, I didn't consider myself a thought leader. But what I will say is that something I work very hard to do when I'm training coaches is to train coaches to think of themselves um, as content creators and people who can, yes, learn everything that they need to learn from um, industry leaders, but also become their own thought leader and have their own opinions and thoughts about some of these tools and apply those and create their own. Um, so I would love to know, are you already a coach or are you just looking for additional training? So for those of you who are here, hi, everybody who joined recently. Um, let me know, are you already a coach? Yes or no. And if you aren't, are you really interested in becoming a coach? And if you are a coach, are you just looking for additional training because of our approach and our DEI focus? I would love to hear. Yes. All right, well, while people are thinking about, <laughs> y'all are quiet today. Um, you don't have to be shy while you're thinking about answering that. I will say either way, we are super thrilled to have you here today. Let me know. All right. So here are some signs that life coaching might be a great career for you. So after training thousands of coaches over the past 14 years, there are some qualities that I noticed make the most effective and most profitable coach leaders. And here we go. Empathy. I would love to hear as I read these out, if you resonate with these qualities, if, if you're like, that's me. Um, I have to tell you that not long after I became a life coach, I took an assessment called Strengths Finder. And I, I actually really enjoy that assessment because it assesses um, strengths in a really different way. And it's about a 20 minute assessment and then it'll tell you your top five strengths. And when I was taking it, I had in my mind what I hoped my results were gonna be. Like I, I flipped through the book and, and made a decision like, oh, I wanna be a maximizer. And hilariously, my top strength was empathy. And I remember thinking like, everybody's empathetic. No, they are not friends. Empathy for coaches is an amazing strength to have. And I do notice that the most successful and most profitable coaches are highly empathetic. So empathetic, um, they're able to listen attentively. So you may have people say, you're such a good listener or people who bring their stuff to you, even strangers spill their guts to you. Um, we actually enhance this in the training and we teach you some techniques in creating a safe space and clinical skills on listening to help. Even if you have this ability already, we help you maximize it. Um, creative. Most of the great coaches I know are creative, but not in the way that you may be thinking. So I used to consider creativity to be a painter, a sculptor, um, what I know for sure is that creativity exists in math, creativity exists in cooking, creativity exists in coaching, and it's the ability to think outside the box, really. Um, also, the great coaches, people who are well-suited for coaching that I know are, are excellent problem solvers. So these are folks who are able to become solution-oriented instead of obstacle oriented. And also, I love talking about this this way. The successful and highly profitable coaches that I know um, are have a palms up mentality instead of a palms down mentality, meaning palms up like, how can I serve? How can I help? Um, a spirit of generosity that's very different than the energy of like, what can I get here? What can I take? So a giver versus a taker's attitude. And here's why I created this. So um, I, um, I'll just stop my share briefly. Um, so as I mentioned, I have 
a variety of different certifications. I've been doing this for over 14 years. And what led me to create this university, I was already running um, for my book bear, I was running a uh, specialized coach certification program called bear, which is my bear methodology. But why I started an entire university is a different story. I started this university because um, what I noticed in 2020 with everything that happened in the world um, with George Floyd and shootings and um, people of color being targeted and um, in our industry, in the coaching industry, it has historically been dominated by white men and white women. And when I looked around at the coaching industry, what I noticed was that there was a lack of leadership in the DEI space. And there was a lack of leadership in owning how coaching could be oppressive and how to teach coaches to use coaching tools um, with a diverse clientele in a way that did no harm. And so I felt so strongly that the industry needed to change and needed to get with the times that when I looked around and saw it not happening, I decided why not me? And so I assembled the best of the best faculty um, to create coaches who would leave a legacy and a ripple effect on their communities and on the world. And so um, my team and I pivoted um, our offers and decided to devote our talent and our time and our money into creating a university like none other. And I'm very, very proud of it. Um, so what I'll do is go back to my slides here and just talk about how this program is different than other life coach training programs. Um, our mission, uh, number one, um, our mission is not just to train exceptional coaches. Our mission is to train coaches through a diversity, equity, and inclusion lens so that there's no client left behind, so that we have context when working with a Black queer woman or an LGBTQIA plus youth or um, you know, any group, marginalized group that has historically been ignored by psychology and coaching, our mission is to make sure that our coaches are trained in a way that is inclusive and equitable. And our curriculum um, accomplishes that. And so I'll walk you through here in a moment how amazing our world-class curriculum is. I'll introduce you to our faculty and to the high-level curriculum. Um, and if you have more questions, certainly we can get on the phone and talk about it. But when you look at our university, our curriculum is divided into some different sections. And so um, obviously we teach people what it is to be a coach, what it means to be an exceptional coach, all those things, coaching fundamentals. So absolutely, just like other coaching universities, we teach the basics of how to conduct a coaching session, how to meet your client where they are. But what we add to that is an inclusive assessment method. Um, we teach the differences between coaching, teaching, and um, consulting. We have a pretty specialized intake process that we teach, clinical skills that we teach that are second to none through the lens of this curriculum that includes diversity, equity, inclusion, and ethics. So, um, you know, we train our coaches to understand um, how to work with people who have experienced racism or who are differently abled um, or who express gender differently than they do, um, people with body image issues, all of those things that make it a very unique training experience. And we also focus very heavily on coaching excellence. And we do that through our coach mentoring part of the program, which I'll, I'll get to and explain in a little bit in more detail. Um, and there's coaching real world practice. So we're, we're very committed to not just keep you in theory, 
we actually help you get the practice that you need so that when you want to start charging, you are prepared. And we don't just leave you there. Um, we definitely include some business coaching and also like, what do you want to do with this coaching certification now that you have it? Um, and I think all of that makes us different and exceptional. So within our curriculum, we divide all of what I just discussed into these sections. There are live master trainings with myself and our world-class faculty. Then we break you into smaller groups to have your coach mentoring experience. So this is, this is very hands-on. You are on Zoom with master coaches and a real live client coaching and receiving feedback. Um, we have an online learning classroom that is amazing where you can access all of the videos and audios and worksheets. Um, and that, of course, includes DEI training, business training, and of course, a certification process that's included. It does not cost extra to be certified through the university. Um, this is just a high level overview of the 16 live master classes as it exists today. But I, I am well known for being generous and adding bonus classes and things all the time as we move along. So, you know, as of March 31st, these are the classes that we're teaching right now. Um, we teach, we have a special coaching framework that we teach. We teach the clinical skills, how to ask powerful questions, I have developed a very unique um, thought body energy model that is the foundation of everything within our training. And of course, um, there are multiple DEI classes. Um, there are classes on the wisdom of the body, bringing compassion techniques into thought work, social change and social justice, how trauma impacts the mind and the body, um, something that's really hot right now that needs to be addressed in the coaching industry is trauma and how to, as a coach, not move over into therapy lane, stay, staying in our lane, how to be trauma informed. Um, we also added an amazing um, class and video training on neuroscience and what's happening in the brain when you're coaching your clients. And um, you know, lots of classes on like the philosophy of coaching and helping your clients dream and all those things. Um, this is just a taste of what we cover. Um, and then in small group mentoring, what you learn in the master classes, you then take it to your small groups and learn how to apply those tools um, with actual clients. So everything from tools on you know, how to have a simple framework for a coaching session, how to work with conscious thought, subconscious thought, body wisdom, um, how to help your clients create high quality thoughts and goals and vision and all those things. Um, in the online learning classroom, uh, we have week by week, there are um, videos that are replays of the live classes, but also supplemental video trainings that you can access. Um, and we try to, with every single topic, have a training video to go with it. And in the DEI training videos, we, we have developed this diversity continuum that helps take people from apathy to activism. And um, so apathy, awareness, appreciation, advocacy, and activism. And there are DEI training videos that supplement this diversity continuum, uh, you know, and explain everything from um, microaggressions to um, policy. So pretty excited about that. And then we also have some business training for our coaches. So um, something that I am known for is helping entrepreneurs make money. And of course, I want my coaches to do the same. So we have um, a pretty robust business training for our people. We consider this a one-stop shop. Um, so there are also certification requirements that, again, there's no additional charge for this, but 
we do have some requirements and benefits of certification. So there is a requirement to attend at least 18 of your classes to complete 24, 25 hours of practice coaching. Um, we have you submit a recorded coaching session for review and feedback. Um, we help you learn how to create your own tools. And part of that is the cert part of certification. Um, and then once you're certified, you will be featured in our coach directory um, so that people can search online and find you and potentially hire you. And then we also have a beautiful diploma and some marketing materials that we share with our coaches once they're certified. Um, this is our Kaleidoscope basic coaching model that takes clients from context, understanding where they're coming from to asking powerful questions and getting clarity, um, and then consideration, helping them dream and make commitments to what they will do and then celebrate what they've accomplished. Of course, in training, um, there are tools for each phase of this kaleidoscope that will will teach you in class. And this again is our diversity continuum, helping people go from apathy to activism. Um, so a big question that we always get is how will students be supported? And um, what I can say about this is that in my company, I definitely um, have a philosophy of pink carpet, pink carpet treatment, meaning we're like rolling out the red carpet for our students. And in order to support them on their journey of becoming a certified life coach, we have um, a pretty robust curriculum that I just went through. Um, some amazing master coaches that support you along the way in your coach mentoring journey. Um, we have a private Facebook group where people can outside of class ask questions and connect with one another and share resources. Um, we're pretty devoted to making sure that our students are trained and have the support that they need. Um, so let's meet the faculty. These are the people who support our students. Um, so this is Erica Hines. She has helped me even before starting the university understand why it's important and beneficial to be diversity, equity, and inclusion focused. And so she has an amazing um, company called Every Level Leads. And she has a project called Black Women Thriving that's new. She has quite the resume, as you can see. Um, Patty Rantapa, who is a master certified life coach um, and a full-time head coach with my company. She is one of our coach mentors and she also um, teaches classes. Patty's amazing. Mako Ward is um, a professor at um, the University of Arizona and she, or I'm sorry, Arizona State University. And she is a uh, clinical assistant professor and faculty head of African and American studies at Arizona State. She, she is um, someone who has helped shape our curriculum as well. And she teaches some classes on social justice and coaching. Um, Anna Verzoni, Dr. Anna Verzoni, she's a master certified life coach and she has a podcast called the Rebel Buddhist Podcast. And she, um, she specializes in helping coaches bring compassion to thought work. And then we have Chrissy Ball. She is a certified life coach and she is also a Hollywood stunt woman. So she, we feel very, very lucky to have um, Chrissy on our team. She's taught many classes for us over the years and she um, just shines and she is a coach mentor. Lachelle Wooten is an amazing social worker and coach. Um, she has her master's in social work from NYU, and she's also a lecturer at Columbia. She is a coach mentor and um, instructor. Our students love her as well. Ray McDaniel. Um, Ray is the founder and CEO of Practical Audacity and Gender Buck. Um, Ray teaches all of our classes on um, on supporting the trans community. And um, we're so lucky to have Ray as well. Dr. Elisa Roberts is a master certified coach and she is, um, she's had 20 years of university teaching and she is a coach mentor as well. 
And then um, Nicole Iacovoni is a therapist and coach, and she has a master's in clinical social work. She teaches a lot of classes on clinical skills, working with difficult clients. Um, we're so lucky to have Nicole as well. Mo Carrick, we love Mo. Mo teaches a number of our DEI classes. This is, um, this is something that Mo does every day in her work as a consultant. She's the author of two books. Um, she's a TEDx speaker. She is a phenom. We love her. C. Renee Washington is one of my master certified coaches and she, um, she is an exceptional coach and is a coach mentor for the university. Um, Star Rose Bond is a licensed clinical social worker and coach, and she specializes in trauma and being trauma informed. Um, she just taught a class yesterday that blew everybody's minds. And we've added um, uh, Stacey Danford, who is a neuroscientist. She's the CEO and founder of The Grateful Brain. She is the um, faculty member who teaches client or teaches our students classes on um, neuroscience and what happens in the brain during coaching. And then we have Lynn Elioff, who is uh, another master certified life coach who um, will be focusing on the business classes. She's an amazing entrepreneur. She's a um, uh, published author multiple times and uh, the founder of Gutsy Glorious Living. So um, when you enroll uh, to become a coach with the University for Life Coach Training, there's lots of things you get. You get access to our online community. You get um, six months at least of life coach training and inc incorporating DEI and access to these amazing faculty members. Um, there's actually 16 live trainings, 12 of them taught by me. And then we have at least, these numbers are growing, but we have at least 12 recorded curriculum videos. So in addition to your live classes, there are recorded videos in your portal, um, as well as you will be assigned to a smaller group where you will learn how to coach, how to apply what you learn in the master classes. Um, and there are, we actually boosted this number from 12 to 18. So there are um, 18 mentoring classes. There are a minimum of eight DEI training videos, but last time I counted, there were more than this already in there. So this, this continues to grow as well. Um, so you receive this complete curriculum with educational videos to watch from our expert faculty, we also mail a welcome kit to you. So I am big on snail mail. So you will receive in the mail, um, actually um, the curriculum handbook and the, you, get the, you get some books in, in this box from us, but there's all kinds of other stuff. Um, you get notebooks and treats and um, suggested reading. And it's a really beautiful gift box that we send you. Um, but a lot of the things like the curriculum handbook and all that, we actually invested in a digital platform for that. So um, you also receive a private post-graduation career planning session with Patty and um, coaching materials. We have a um, digital um, Google Drive full of things for you when you go to launch your coaching practice, client intake forms, client session guidelines, marketing materials, lots of things to help you get things started. Um, and again, here's everything on one screen. So six months of life coach training, um, incorporating DEI into our um, focus with an award-winning faculty. Um, you have live classes with me and other faculty. There are recorded curriculum videos in addition to the live classes. You get to be included in a small group cohort where our, there are coach mentors on the line, watching you coach, giving you feedback, um, DEI training videos, a welcome box, a what's next career planning session, um, business classes, and a coaching packet. We really, really feel proud that this is a one-stop shop. 
Um, the investment for the University for Life Coach training is $9,997. We do have payment plans available. So if you would like to apply, I know that Mallory's probably putting the link in the chat for you and I'll, I'll pause here for questions in a second, but this is what the screen looks like and you can click enroll now and then you can pick a payment plan once you decide to um, enroll and you can pick the pay in full or you can pick a payment plan and we have four or nine month payment plans available. And then once you choose your payment plan, a screen like this pops up where you can enter your name, address, and credit card info. And then you'll get a, a, a yes, thank you screen like this um, that says somebody will be you know, in touch with you shortly after you submit. So let me just pause here and see what questions are coming up among these amazing attendees. Um, okay, good. Thank you, Mallory, for putting that in the chat. So Mallory, I know that there were people who said they were going to be on team replay watching this video replay that emailed in some questions. So I'm happy to, for those of you who are here live, I'm happy for you to pop your questions into the chat and I have time to answer them. Um, and then I'll also, um, I will also listen to what Mallory said. Okay, Mallory says, how intense is a typical week? Like how many hours a week will we be spending on average? Oh, that's Alaya. So you wanna budget the way that we pace this. And again, I've been training thousands of coaches for years now. And what I think is the best pacing is you'll have one week where you'll have a masterclass where you're learning new tools so um, on the weeks when you have master classes, you will attend class. So that's probably uh, about an hour, unless you're with me, I go a little over. Um, so an hour for class and maybe another half hour to either, you know, journal about it or read some supplemental articles or watch some supplemental videos we give you about it. And then the next week is when you'll be in your small groups and um, those classes tend to go about 75 minutes. And then if you wanna do any practice coaching on your own. So I would say a couple hours a week, you'll be good to attend class, to do any homework that we have. And there are some weeks I will say, um, and this is mostly if we get a new resource in <laughs> and I'm super excited to share it. I know that there are some weeks that are more robust than others. But typically, if you've got a couple hours a week, you're good. All right. So one question we had recently was, does the program help you just become a life coach or does it help you also explore like what type of individuals you wanna work with as you dive into everything? Yeah, sure. So of course the training um, is a great training ground, no matter what your niche, you know, it doesn't matter what, what niche you choose, you're going to need this foundational stuff. And then absolutely, we talk about in the training, the different kinds of niches, because honestly, what's so exciting about this is that there is a coaching focus and niche for everything, you know, um, there are coaches for, um, you know, moms who want to re-enter the workforce. There are coaches for dads who want to be a better parent. There are coaches for, you know, how to stop drinking. There are coaches for business that, I mean, every, if there is a problem in the world, there is a coach for it. <laughs> so um, we do help you explore that and help you choose. What I will say though, is that I think it's really important for new coaches to coach their faces off for a little while before they declare a niche because you want to get a little bit of experience under your belt before you, you narrow very tightly. But we talk quite a bit about that in class, especially the business classes. And then, um, I don't know, did we mention the date that our next round of classes starts? We did not. Do you I, have it handy? 
Um, I know it's in June. I know Anna's here too. I do not remember off the top of my head the exact date. Yeah, so our next cohort is we're enrolling now for the June start date. Um, and so while you're pulling that up, Mallory, I will say we're so excited about the current group that started in January and things are going so beautifully with them. Um, we wanted to give ourselves some time before the next start date. And so it is in June, which is coming up quick. We're already at April. And something I will say about the last question that Mallory asked too, is if any of you are interested in learning more about the variety of coaching um, niches that, that exist, and um, if you're interested in seeing the different things that coaches can do with a coaching certification, we are having a two-day event on April 8th and 9th called the Ultimate Coaching Convention. And it might be a great um, idea for you if you're still not sure, quite sure about becoming a coach to attend that. Um, so it looks like the week of June 14th. So mid-June, we start again. And... Um, Classes we have, the master classes are typically um, 12 noon central time. And then the coach mentoring classes, we split between um, a class happening in the AM central time and PM central time. So I realize people are tuning in from all over the world. Um, and so we, we do try to offer a variety there. We did have a question about the smaller groups um, and what exactly that means. Like, do you watch somebody get coached? Are you coaching? What exactly happens in those so that people can understand it a little more? Oh yeah, great, great question. So um, right now our smaller groups are in groups of 10. And what that means is we start off with you coaching your fellow um, coaching students you're in your cohort and the coach mentors observe and give feedback. Um, but very quickly, we move into welcoming real live clients to your Zoom calls and we have a schedule. So you'll know exactly when you're supposed to coach and you'll know exactly when you're just observing. And so everyone comes together on Zoom, including the client and Everyone will have reviewed the pre-work of this client, meaning like advanced, it's an advanced questionnaire where we get as much information as we can about the client. So we get started off on, a, on you know, we have the context that we need to start coaching. Um, and there are one and two, sometimes three coach mentors present who guide you in the beginning when you're not sure what you're doing um, and then give feedback after they observe you coaching. And so let's say we have a masterclass about how to help someone go from a low quality thought to a high quality thought. Then your next small group, you will be practicing what you learned and, and encouraging that client to do the same on Zoom. And so uh, we find that this is a very effective way for coaches to observe coaching happening, coaches to practice real world coaching on a real person who has real issues. And we absolutely love it. It's, it's one of my favorite things to observe. Okay, what coaching methods tools will we talk? So, hi, Casey. So when I went through the um, curriculum before, I gave a high level view of the coaching tools. So we have um, in our Kaleidoscope coaching model, we have tools to help get context of where the client is coming from, powerful questions to help get access to what's really going on with the client, and then tools based on where they are. So <coughs> we teach a variety but primarily the thought model, the thought body energy model that I've developed. So we will, we teach our students how to access what's happening with the client's conscious thought and help them change that, reframe that. We have tools on helping understand what's potentially happening subconsciously with the client, because remember only 5% of our brain is conscious. And that's typically where the coaching industry stays. 
we actually take it a step further and help our um, coach cadets understand what could be happening subconsciously, whether it's um, rules from family of origin or culture at large. Um, and then we also help our students understand how to help their clients access the wisdom of the body and also their energy. And so we have tools that are around thought, we have tools that are around body, we have tools that are around energy, and then we have tools, of course, that are around goal setting and visioning and, and all those kinds of things. So those are the kind of tools that we teach at the university. Good question. So another question, we actually had this emailed in the other day and I thought it was um, very interesting, but someone was kind of on the fence and saying that they didn't feel like they were perfect and didn't really know how to take that when they were considering becoming a life coach. So what do you have like in terms of advice for that? Yeah, that's actually a, another great question that we get a lot. Thanks for bringing it up, Mallory. So there, <laughs> there is uh, one of the top, I would say seven um, fears of humans is a fear uh, like imposter syndrome, a fear of not being good enough. And particularly for women, this plays out quite a bit. And so you may be watching this and thinking like, I can't call myself a life coach. I can't even stop, you know, whatever, stop eating muffins at night, or I don't even parent my kid effectively, like whatever's happening in your life. And here's what I know for sure is that 100% of human beings have things going on in their lives. Um, none of us are perfect. None of us will ever be perfect. Life is always happening around us. And what's awesome is that we learn tools of how to mitigate that. So um, it isn't about being perfect enough for being a coach, to be a coach. It's about learning the tools and the skills that you need to surf it. So I'm not trying to live a life with no waves. That's never going to happen. I just know how to surf effectively. And so I think that if any of you are entertaining that nonsense that like, I can't possibly do that because I'm not perfect or I have stuff going on in my life, welcome to being human and let us teach you tools that you can use in your personal life and help others as well. All right. Anything else you can think of? Yeah, this is your chance, y'all. I have like a little bit more time. I'm totally happy to answer anything that's coming up. Um, Mallory, you let me know if there's anything left on your list from the emailed in questions, but. I think, um, and I can pull it up and put it in the comments, but if people too like feel hesitant to ask questions publicly, is there someone that they could maybe talk with one-on-one -on -one or, you know, if things they wanted a little bit more info? Absolutely. So Patty, the head coach for my team is also someone who is available to have a quick call with you. And so I see, thank you, Mallory. Um, Mallory is popping Patty's calendar link in the chat for you. So if you're not sure and you have questions you want to kind of go through privately with a coach, Patty is complimentary available to answer your questions. So please do not hesitate to book a consult call with Patty. She's, she's amazing and she's a great coach and you'll actually get to hear actual coaching in action if you have a little chat with Patty. All right, so I'm gonna wrap because it seems like we've answered everybody's public questions again. Um, we would so love to have you be part of the university. We're so proud of the quality of classes. We are so proud of the quality of the faculty. We are so proud of our students and the work that they're already doing. And we would love to welcome you to the next round. So feel free to have a chat with Patty. Feel free to email support at shyatt.com. We're here for you. Um, and I will hopefully see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Mallory. Bye.